no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a no. Alyssa here is deciding, often in less than a second, whether she finds a slew of guys attractive or not. So this is you rejecting them? No, no, this is me swiping so through swiping all their through. pictures and okay. then... That's the rejection. Mm -hmm. Just bang, like that. Stephen is doing the same. It seems ridiculously simple. It is ridiculously simple. Tinder. It's revolutionary. It's all about the way you look, period. Online dating sites like Match.com and eHarmony promise Ms or Mr Right, but first a long questionnaire. Tinder offers Ms or Mr right now with as little background information as possible. I just feel like my generation, it's like if there's an app for it, it's easier to do. And it's instant. Yeah. It's not that you're lazy, it's just that this is now it's available like, to you, so why would you do it any other way? Exactly. Swipe right on a photo if you like it. Okay, so yeah, so she's cute. So is that a yes? Swipe left if you don't. It's a bad vibe. Yeah. If you both swipe right, you just got a match there. It's a match. You message, maybe meet, maybe more, maybe marriage. You have hooked up with girls through Tinder. Your mum's not watching. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> Are we talking once or twice? Are we talking 65 to 70 times? I mean, let's just say I have. How many matches have you had on this? Um, 1,775. That's we both a lot. said we were both attractive. Yeah, it is a lot. All the cool kids are doing it. 1.3 billion swipes every day, according to Tinder's founder and CEO, 28-year-old Sean Rad. All this swiping has landed him coverboy status on this month's Forbes magazine. You're just the modern-day Hugh Hefner, promoting sex, no. selling sex, right? No. <laughs> We are making it incredibly easy for two people to meet. What they decide to do with those relationships is totally up to them. Meetings based on maybe four photos and maybe a one-line blurb. Star signs, favorite movies, favorite food, whether you like George Michael or not, I mean, that doesn't matter. It matters in the long run, maybe, but when it comes to developing that initial impression, we don't believe that that is necessarily the most important factor. We hate to admit it as a species, but looks probably matter most. You look at one photo. Sure, sure. Which is kind of caveman. It's efficient. You know, somebody told me the other day that he has been exposed to more women in the last year than probably his ancestors have in a lifetime. Rad boasts he met his own girlfriend on Tinder. He swiped right and he matched heiress Alexa Dell, daughter of billionaire computer magnate Michael Dell. He was lucky. It's a very simple idea. Simplicity is sometimes very complicated. If the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet was the old sex. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Then Tinder is the new sex. Half of its users are between the ages of 18 and 24. I know when I don't like somebody, I can tell Within, immediately. It's just gut in gut. Yes, yeah. Intuition. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, by the way, made a match, set a date. Well, I don't really know that much about him. We'll get back to that a little later. Tinder has penetrated society so deep that popular video bloggers like Chris Thompson are ranting about it on YouTube. For every shirtless bag on there, there is a duck-faced idiot girl. Me and my grandma. Dude, perfect. I respect women, love my grandma. Have you had sex with somebody you met on Tinder? Yes. <laughs> you know. And have you had bad dates. Oh, yeah. Because there's one thing that Tinder can't do, and it can't tell you if you have chemistry with somebody. No chemistry equals bad date, and ticked off Tinderites aren't afraid to post intimate details of dates gone awry on websites like Instagram and Reddit. And just this week, this nosy New Yorker couldn't resist live tweeting excruciating details of a Tinder date at the next table. It became clear pretty early on that it was a first date. She tweeted, sitting next to the most obnoxious Tinder couple ever. Dude just casually admitted it's his third Tinder date of the day. I was very proud not only of having that on Tinder, but of having been a bit of a master of Tinder. It gets worse. He's swiping through Tinder while she's in the bathroom. And I noticed that he was swiping to the right the whole time. I was amazed at that. I thought it was, it was so obnoxious. Our boy Chris is hoping for a better outcome. He's made a match. Um, she's late. If she doesn't show up, like, that's, that's okay. Back to Chris in a minute, but first, is the superficial sorting actually the way to go? Physical attraction's critical. It, it really is critical. 
It doesn't keep a marriage together, but it starts a marriage. Sociologist Jess Carboneau lectures at Loyola Marymount, and she moonlights as a paid consultant, analyzing Tinder behavior. But are these kids dating differently than, you know, I did 10 years ago, than my parents did? I think that young people are definitely engaging more in a hookup culture than they have been historically. Now, there are, of course, some Tinder do's and don'ts. If you do a mirror picture with a phone, it's an no, absolute yeah. no. Body talk too soon is often off-putting. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's pretty forward. Uh-huh. That's his first message, too. We can't even tell you what that guy said. Posting pics with cute friends is actually a good idea. There's the effect of when you're posted with another person and they're more attractive than you, they make you look more attractive. Which brings us back to Chris and his Tinder date. Well, she's about 25 minutes late. <laughs> Maybe she's just getting extra pretty for me. The lovely Dana is a show. Hey. Yeah. How are you? How are you? <laughs> the hardest part when it comes to Tinder is that you don't know if they're going to be how they represented themselves. And she did. She represented herself true. She's awesome. She's got a great personality, super sweet. And I thought we'd have a lot in common. And Alyssa's date, Brian, showed up too. And so did I. Seems to be getting on. He's relatively good looking. You both matched. Mm-hmm. What did you like online about each other? You know what? I didn't put much thought into it. <laughs> you know? I really... Jeez! I mean, wow! And why did you swipe yes on this guy? Blue eyes. The blue eyes, the dark features. Yeah. And... The blue eyes are actually working for you. Definitely yeah. working for you. Yeah. Alyssa, so, telling us she found herself a good one. So what do you think? Well, I think he's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. This could be tender work. This could be Tinder working. Is our smartphone now in charge of our sex lives? We're certainly yielding a lot of control to our smartphones, so sure, absolutely. Yeah, my phone now controls my sex life. In, in a way, yeah. So if you use Tinder, let us know on Facebook and Twitter. We're live tweeting tonight, so join the conversation. Use hashtag ABC2020.